Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back to another boss guide for Dark Souls Remastered slash Dark Souls 1. Uh, this is the Mr. Ceaseless Discharge, which unfortunately has the worst name in the history of bosses. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, this is a weird one. Uh, yeah, if you're enjoying these uh, guides or finding them helpful, you can support by interacting with the video or checking out the links in the description below. So yeah, this is a weird one. Basically, after Quaylag, uh, you can come down here and go through the fog door, come over here. Uh, Lore-wise, I think this is like his sister or something, a dead fire witch of Isolith or whatever. Uh, you could take her ring wraith looking armor, and then he gets really mad. And then he tries to kill you. Uh, but this guy has a gimmick, basically. So the idea here is to grab this and immediately run that way. Now, can you run and guard at the same time? Yeah, in Dark Souls 1 you can at least. So it might be good to run and guard because um, basically what he'll do is he'll one-shot you a lot of the time when you're trying to get out of here. And it's really annoying because then it kind of throws the gimmick off pretty much. So we're going to look to like roll if he does like a hand swipe um, so that we don't get hit as we're running back to the start. But yeah, that's your goal, is you want to run back to the start immediately after grabbing this. So, let's do it. The Ceaseless Discharge. Let's see what he does. Okay. So yeah, he'll always, like, lead up with an attack, which you want to be ready for, basically. I'm going to run and guard. And luckily, that was a good scenario there. So yeah, basically, you want to avoid the first attack that he does, and then just run your butt back over this way. Um, you can learn to fight him normally. I've done it, like, once. I think he has, like, what, three attacks, basically. I think he has, like, some massive flamethrower attack. He has, like, a hand swipe, and then he has whatever he just did there, I think. But, I don't know. It's the type of thing where I feel like this is the intended way. So, this is kind of what I like to show as far as a guide goes. But, yeah, if you run all the way back here, he'll jump. He'll put his hand there, and he's basically begging you at this point. To end his suffering, which I am more than happy to assuage him in. So, it basically, if you whack at him, eventually, he just dies. His whole entire health bar is reduced. And he's dead. And that is the ce Ceaseless Discharge, which is a required boss, which is so weird. I always forget this guy's a required boss because you need to drain this uh, lava here to progress later on in the game. So yeah, you can learn to fight him normally if you wish. Obviously, he does a lot of fire stuff. Again, I think he has like three attacks. He's not really like a developed boss that much. Big giant flamethrower, hand swipe, and I guess that hand swipe, which also makes lava come out. But feels like developers, I don't know, make, it wants you to run this way and, you know, he'll jump. He'll put his hand down, hit it X amount of times. I don't know if it's damage based or hit amount based. But, uh, yeah, his whole health bar will dissipate, and he will die, and you get a whole bunch of stuff from it. So, it's pretty nice. Um, but, yeah, that is the Ceaseless Discharge, if you were not aware of that gimmick situation. But, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Check out the other guides. Uh, support the video by interacting with it or checking out the links in the description below if you are interested. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.